Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. One of my favorite tools of all time and one that I use practically every single day is OBS. And if you are not familiar with OBS, it's Open Broadcaster Software. This is a free and open source software that is available on multiple platforms. And it is one that will allow you to do everything from simple things like your desktop recording or to more complex things like streaming and gaming as well. Now, if you are on Linux, the easiest way to install this is right here through these instructions. For most people that have an Ubuntu based system, they will follow these instructions right here. You would go ahead and install FFmpeg and then add the PPA. Just follow the instructions here and you should be ready to go. And so whenever you do install OBS, it definitely has a learning curve. It definitely requires some time to learn how to use it. And so that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. And so as you can see here, I have OBS already up and running. And so I'm going to show you the main ways that I use OBS. And so you could get as simple or as complex as you want. Okay. And so the majority of all your recording is going to be done through scenes. Okay. So scenes are different things that you could set up for whatever video setup that you want. Okay. So here you could do a simple desktop record. You could record a specific window or you could add different images or videos in the background. Okay. And so I'm going to go through how you would set this up uh, to do the main things that at least the main things that I do from the beginning. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is actually set up a scene. So right here you would go plus right there and then you can name the scene whatever you'd like. So I'm just going to leave that as a default. And so the first thing a lot of people want to do is actually do a desktop record. So recording everything on their screen. So once you have that as a scene, now you actually have to choose the sources. Okay. So that's the important stuff. So first you would go plus and then right here, screen capture. So we, you would choose that. Now, if you already have an existing screen capture source, which I already do, just go ahead and choose that, select it and press OK. And as you can see there, it selected my entire desktop. And so this will allow you to just record everything that is on your desktop. So now, what if you actually wanted to add your actual web camera or camera device so that you could have yourself right here on top of the desktop? What you would do here is add sources and then you would choose the video capture device. Okay. Now there are other options here as well. It depends on how you set it up. But for me, it's video capture device. Okay. So once again, if you already have something that's existing, say, okay. And there it is. So I could move that around. And you can also resize it as well. You see there, I have it resized. And so it really depends on how you want it there. But you can see how my video is right on top of my screen as well. Now you could also move this around. So say for example, you didn't want your video on top of your desktop. Okay. You could either remove that by going here and subtracting it or you could move it. Okay. So right here, up or down, you could move the positioning and see. My camera is no longer there, but it's still there. You can move it back up. Okay. And you could do this with multiple sources as you see next. So window capture, what it allows you to do is to choose different windows that you actually want to capture. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and go plus and window capture. I'm going to choose an existing and here you could go to your properties right here. And then you could choose the window source that you want. Okay. And so right here, let's go ahead and choose my browser as a window source. And there it is. Now, if you notice, it comes out on top as I showed you earlier and all the other stuff is below it. And if you also notice, it doesn't quite fill the whole screen. Okay. Now you can make it fill the screen by manually moving this around or you could right click and then go to transform and you could do stretch to screen. Okay or fit to screen, but stretch the screen usually works. See now it's filled up the whole screen. Okay. Now, once again, you could move this around. Let me move it underneath my video capture device. So typically for me, I always want my video capture device on top, but as you can see there, there is my actual window itself. Now, one thing that is very important and it took me like hours and hours to figure that out is sometimes this is what's going to happen. You would choose window capture, right? And then you'll see something like this where it's absolutely just black. There's nothing there. Okay. And this one, like I said, it took me a while to figure out, but what you do here is 
you go to properties I just did it a second ago but if you notice there are other options under here but I didn't see that because you actually have to scroll down and this is what you need to have checked news alpha less texture format miss a workaround so this has something to do with video drivers and so there you go and there I am okay so be sure to do that otherwise you only see a black screen okay and so once you have that set up the next thing is is your audio okay you actually want to capture the audio from either an external mic or from the microphone on your webcam itself so once again you would add a source and you would actually choose audio capture okay since I am recording this with simple screen recorder right now uh, it'll probably not show everything that I would like to show you but let me see I'll choose this capture device okay and typically on OBS if you have the right device you see this audio capture device this little I guess this is measurement it'll show the number of decibels but since I am using simple screen recorder right now it won't show that okay so that's how you would add your actual device and you could also choose which audio device so you could go to properties and see you could choose which audio device that you want so you, if you have multiple audio devices you could choose the one that you want to capture from okay and now another thing that you want to do here is capturing the audio from the actual window itself from your actual desktop okay so this comes in really handy if you're going to be doing something like say a video game capture of whatever game that you're playing okay you're doing a let's play or something okay so how you would do that is it would be a combination of a window capture but also capturing another audio device so let me go ahead and fire up a game and I'll show you how that works okay so I've got a game fired up right now so once you have it fired up you could choose the that window where the game is at so I'll go right here to properties and let me go ahead and choose the game right there all right so there there is my game now right now you have the game but now you also need to get the audio from the game so you would do is you would add this and then for myself you would choose the audio output capture post audio okay and so I already have it existing so I'll go ahead and choose that and see right there there is the audio from the game itself so as I said earlier typically if I did not have simple screen recorder recording the audio from my microphone right now you would also see this decibel bar go up so that way you can also capture the audio from not only your microphone but also whatever is from your desktop as well and as you can see there I'm capturing the audio from the game and so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the game okay now the final thing in terms of setting up right here is your audio delay there is definitely a delay between the audio from your video and then also what it's being captured okay so whatever you do this you would go to your audio capture device go to settings right there go to advanced audio properties and this is very important you know you actually want to set up the audio capture device you want to set up a sync offset okay so that there is a delay between the time that the video is being captured and also the audio okay so for myself I put 330 milliseconds and that pretty much syncs up my audio with my video correctly now you might have to play around with this until you get the right you know uh, sync between the two now that is the main setup these are the most important things that you would set up in order to get your scenes get all the different sources correctly and now we could go into the actual settings itself and so here there are many different things that you could set up you know if you wanted to do a stream you would choose whatever service that you want whether it's twitch YouTube normally those are the main two and then you would put in your actual settings like here you need a stream key okay and then after that let's go ahead and go to the output now here is where you control basically the quality of your video that's being recorded and so the video bitrate is what controls that you know so the higher the number the higher the resolution but also the larger the file size okay now this is also uh, affected by the actual resolution that you have for your screen output and I'll go to that a little bit later on the video but here you could also choose the recording format and you could also choose an advanced mode as well I choose the simple mode but with advanced you could set you know definitely more things right here but I like to just keep it simple and then for your audio you could choose different sample rates so depending on the quality that you want and then as I mentioned earlier the video this is important this is the actual resolution that you want 
So this really depends on the screen and monitor and the video card that you have. But it is important to have the same resolution that you're recording and also the output. Okay, so right here, if you don't have the right resolution for the output, you could be recording, say right here, 1080p, but your output could be a lot lower. Okay, so make sure this is the resolution that you want on the output. And you also have frames per second as well. If you're going to be doing normal video recording, normally 25 to 30 will work. But if you're doing like gaming, you might want to have a higher frames per second. But that also depends on your computer and the, how powerful it is and the type of video card that it has. And then here, we also have hotkeys as well. And so this will allow you to set up hotkeys for recording, streaming, and to switch between various scenes um, on your actual video capture. And I'm going to show you how that works. So right here, I have three scenes and I have my hotkeys as one, two, and three. Okay. So right now, if I press one, then two, and then three, you can see how that switches between the various scenes, you know, and this is really uh, important whenever you are doing something like a stream or uh, maybe you are doing a tutorial. So you can use this for a variety of things. And obviously, once you get all of those things set up, you could just start recording or streaming and you can use your hotkeys for that as well. And so you could also set up other things such as profiles. I have different profiles. OK, so I have different quality profiles. I have a live stream profile. And so the main differences for me here is the actual bit rate when I'm moving from one quality to another. So right now I'm on medium quality and the bit rate on that one was 5000. And I'll show you right there. See, there's my video bit rate. OK, but if I were to change something to like my high quality where I'm doing like gaming, right, it would be at a higher bit rate. See, it's at 10,000. OK, so you're going to have to play around with that to find a profile and setting that works best for you. Um, but that is the main ways that I use OBS for all of my video screen recording, all of my gaming stuff. This is an absolutely amazing tool. It is a tool that I think everybody who gets into video should use. And it's also a tool that will improve your video editing skills, your ability to do live streams. And there's so many things that OBS does. And as I mentioned earlier, it is free and open source. Uh, but I do recommend that you donate to the team if you can, because this is a tool that will allow you to do so many things that I would gladly pay for this tool. OK, and so that is it for this particular tutorial if you had any thoughts on using OBS or any other video recording software be sure to leave that in the comments area below and as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to subscribe and if you wanted to support my channel further you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.